Today we're going to make a tiki standard. Dr. Funk. For this drink, you're going to need a tiki mug, or a double old fashioned glass, a graduated double jigger, a measuring cup, a fancy straw, a vintage stir stick, a cocktail shaker, citrus juicers, a fine mesh trainer, a cutting board and a small knife, and optionally a Lewis bag and an ice ballad. This drink uses Jamaican rum, absinthe, freshly squeezed lime juice, freshly squeezed lemon juice, rich simple syrup, grenadine, and optionally, mint for garnish. Dr. Funk is an early exotic drink and a standard on tiki menus, although it's not always known by the same name. And like a lot of tiki drinks, it's not always made with the same recipe. But to tell its story, we have to go back before tiki bars even existed. Dr. Bernard Funk was a German physician practicing in the South Pacific near the end of the 19th century. And at one point he was Robert Louis Stevenson's doctor. Samoa was his home for over 30 years. And after his first failed marriage to the daughter of a notorious pirate, Funk married a Samoan woman who was the daughter of a chief. The doctor was well known and well regarded in the region as a physician but his name lived on throughout the South Pacific in the form of a cocktail he created. It was made with absinthe, grenadine, lime juice, and soda water. It was the original Dr. Funk cocktail. And as originally conceived, there was no rum in it. The drink was introduced to Ernest Raymond Beaumont Gant, who later changed his name to Don Beach, when he spent some of his formative years sailing around the South Pacific. Don would go on to open the first tiki bar, Don the Beachcomber, in 1933 in the heart of Hollywood which would set the standard for what would become tiki culture. To create it, he took from several cultures, Polynesian, Caribbean, Asian. It all got swept up into the same melting pot and were all broadly described as exotic. As part of the exotic experience at Don the Beachcomber, they served Americanized Chinese food, which was made by the restaurant's Chinese American head chef. This trend of serving quasi Chinese cuisine continued in other tiki bars and restaurants. And the 1950s and 60s grew to the point that there was a lot of Polynesian Chinese crossover in the tiki world. So much so that the opposite was also true. It was common for Chinese restaurants to serve popular tiki cocktails. This, along with things like cocktail recipes being treated like trade secrets, and the fact that spectacle, showmanship, and branding were all part of the tiki experience, was how this drink became known by so many names. It started off as Dr. Funk, then became Dr. Funk of Tahiti, Dr. Fong, Dr. Wong, and Dr. Sam T. This exotic drink, with its exotic name, was similar to a famous contemporary literary supervillain, Dr. Fu Manchu. And the drink began to be commonly served in a Fu Manchu mug. So in keeping with that tiki melting pot tradition, this Dr. Funk is served in a David Lopan mug, who is the supervillain of Darkest Magic and Big Trouble in Little China. This amazing mug is made by Boo Tiki, who tends to make tiki mugs with a playful, horror, pop culture twist. Despite how far it strayed, the Dr. Funk is the only tiki drink with actual Polynesian origins. However, even Don's version was different than Funk's original. Don's version cut back on the absinthe, or in his case, Pernod, and reinforced it with white rum. At least that's how it appeared on a 1950s era recipe recovered by Beach Rum Berry, a tiki historian and founder of Latitude 29 in New Orleans. Don's version was similar to Funk's in that it was pretty tart, and the flavor of the absinthe was front and center. Vic Bergeron, who founded Trader Vic's, built upon Don's concoction by splitting the citrus, increasing the measurement of rum, and changing it from a light rum to a boldly flavored Jamaican-style rum. The bigger-bodied rum helps act as a counterweight to the powerful flavor of the absinthe. Vic's mid-century definition of Martinique rum differed from our modern understanding of it, and as with the Mai Tai, Vic's Dr. Funk recipe is another example of how he blurred the line between Jamaican and Martinique rum. So you can make a killer Dr. Funk with Denizen's Merchant Reserve, which is a blend of both worlds. But personally, I think Hamilton Jamaica Black makes the best Dr. Funk. Decades later, Martin Kate, the founder of Smuggler's Cove, would further build on Vic's recipe by increasing the amount of sugar with rich simple syrup. Normally I'd err on the side of drinks being less sweet, However, with this one, the whole thing finds a much better balance between all of the strong opposing flavors. The absinthe is countered with the Jamaican rum, and the tartness of the citrus is countered with the grenadine and rich simple syrup. 
If you don't have a tiki mug, Kate suggested the drink be served in a double old fashioned glass with three pineapple fronds for garnish. Of course, I prefer it in a tiki mug, but Vic's version with Kate's rich simple syrup is my favorite recipe. It may not have been what the doctor prescribed, but it sure shakes the pillars of heaven. Before I get started, I like to cut, squeeze, strain, and bottle my citrus juices. That way it's easier to pour when it comes time to measure. Next, beat up some ice. Add the ice cubes to a Lewis bag and roll it up. If you don't have a Lewis bag, you can use a bar towel. Just fold it up so the ice can't escape. With the Lewis bag rolled, start crushing it like an intern on a coffee run. Then measure out 12 ounces of crushed ice and set it aside. Next, measure two and a half ounces of rum. Add that to the shaker. With this jigger, that's two pours. Measure a quarter ounce of absinthe. Add that to the shaker. Measure half an ounce of lemon juice. Add that to the shaker. Measure half an ounce of lime juice. Add that to the shaker. Measure a quarter ounce of grenadine. Add that to the shaker. Measure half an ounce of rich simple syrup. Add that to the shaker. Add the 12 ounces of crushed ice and three or four ice cubes just to help stir the pot. Give everything a good shake to chill it down and give it some dilution. Measure out an ounce of soda water, add that to the shaker, and stir it in with your stir stick. Then pour the contents of your shaker unstrained into your tiki mug. Top it off with some more crushed ice. The garnish is up to you, but I like to garnish it with some mint. Whack the rim of the mug with a mint sprig to release some oils and give it a great aroma. Work in your stir stick and fancy straw. Then pop in your mint for garnish. And there it is, just what the doctor ordered. Dr. Funk, a Cole Moluna. Click here for more videos. Be sure to subscribe and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. For links, more info, and the printed recipe, check out the description below.